Who is the NFL MVP QB through week nine? Ah, it's the GOAT. It's Tom Brady. Man, people always try to ignore or try to talk around how the rich get richer in this world. And it's not just in money. It's those who afford themselves the most opportunities. Those who are fundamentally sound and uberly talented. Those are the ones who continue to reap the benefits. And Tom Brady reaps those benefits once again. Damn, Tom Brady is the MVP front runner right now. Now, before I pump him up, let me deflate those who are trying to challenge him. Uh, we said Josh Allen, my dog. You know, that's my brother from another. But Josh Allen, sorry, bro. You can't win an MVP when you're 20th in completion percentage, when you're 15th in passer rating. And more importantly, <sighs> did you lose to the Jaguars right now? And it's been a roller coaster in terms of is he better this year, regressing this year, plateauing? That's been the conversation circling not only the Buffalo Bills, but Josh Allen. Hey, sorry, can't beat my guy. Let's talk about Matthew Stafford, who statistically looks like he should be the front runner. However, some things jump out at me. Like uh, when we were watching you play against the uh, divisional foe in the Arizona Cardinals, only 20 points, and boy, did they whoop y'all up. And it wasn't even as close as the score said. Then everyone's focused in on you guys, prime time watching you Sunday night. You play against the Tennessee Titans, Matthew Stafford at home once again. At home again? And there's no Derrick Henry. And 16 points, but more importantly, y'all got beat down largely because of your lack of performance. So I'm like, eh, it's starting to get ugly. Now we're only down to two. Kyler Murray and my man, the GOAT, Tom Brady. Kyler Murray, are you missing a game or games? Oh, it looks like it's going to be games. Kyler Murray, also, if we look around, we start to realize as much as you're up there and your team is up there, Tom Brady, oh, reliable, still in the building, available, and still playing at a MVP level. I wonder who has the most touchdowns in the NFL. That old man? Godly, Tom Brady. So, just because of the attrition that's going on all around, whether it's uneven performances, injuries, or just average performances, it's Tom Brady the GOAT, MVP, front runner. I don't know how Marcellus wants this. I don't know if he wants to judge the MVP by individual success or team success, but I have one guy that can give you both because I've been taught by the, the nerds that quarterback wins don't count as a stat. So I won't even count Kyler Murray leading the best team in football to the top of the chart. I won't even count that. I'll just look at his individual performance where he's number one in completion percentage. So when I look at Kyler Murray throw, that means that the chances of the ball hitting the ground is at a minimal level because he <laughs> leads the league. Then when I think about passer rating, because passer rating was computed to allow everybody to understand how well the quarterback is playing. Well, Kyler Murray is third in that category. He also has 17 touchdowns. Look, it's tied for seven, but remember, he missed the game. But I'm looking at the most explosive offense in football, an offense that is putting up over 30 points a game when I got little number one running around doing his thing. I think it's very easy and obvious who the MVP is. It's the best player playing on the best team who happens to be a quarterback in Kyler Murray. It's easy. The B-roll right there tells you. Number one is the guy. Why are we having this debate? We should move Ooh. on to another segment. Ooh. He's your MVP. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, and Bucky, I'm with you. I'm, I don't even know where we're... Marcellus is trying to make this out like it's dot racing, like there's this moving <laughs> back and forth and everything. Over the last two weeks, look, two, three weeks ago, what we were saying, it was unanimous. Kyler Murray was the MVP. Uh, and certainly the, pl the guy who is dominating is the best quarterback in the league as the most effective dual threat at the position. What has happened over the last couple of weeks? Uh, okay, Kyler Murray didn't play against the San Francisco 49ers. Marcellus, you can't have it both ways. It's either a surprise that the Cardinals were able to perform the way they did without Kyler Murray, which means there shouldn't be any shade thrown at Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers, or Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers screwed up because they played against the Cardinals and they should have done better with, uh, with Kyler Murray not there. It can't, it's, it's, it's either no expectation because they didn't have Kyler Murray or you discount Kyler Murray, but it can't be both ways. You what can't you make both Willis? arguments. All that said, I'm not going to take Kyler Murray out of the catbird seat simply because he didn't play while Tom Brady, your GOAT, 
Lost to the New Orleans Saints. Again. Uh, Lamar Jackson just lost to the Ravens. Josh Allen just lost to the Jaguars. Like, everybody's taking an L, and Kyler Murray doesn't get to play, but somehow he has to take a step backward when these guys took steps backward as well. Help me make it make sense. To Bucky's point, like, He's still top uh, in the top of the passer rating chart, still top in completion percentage. I can't take away his pole position in the MVP <laughs> race simply because he didn't play against the 49ers oh, really? for a week. Really? You yeah, can't, no, I you can't, can't take it I away? I can't do that. And what about? I can't, I can't, no, I can't. Not, oh. when the, not when the competition about, didn't, like, go by him. What, 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 what about the fact that he's not practicing? So that means it's going to be two games. Oh, when are you going to finally get to the realization that maybe if you don't play in all the games or as much as your other opponent and contender for this MVP? Are we that answering maybe, this question I am. next week well, or well, now? Oh, well, well, I'm are answering we counting it right now. games in the future? <laughs> I, I got you. Or oh, where oh. we are <laughs> Right Slick. now. Slick. Like, Slick. he's not practicing this week? Now he's not practicing? He's got to take a step back in the MVP race? Oh, yeah. What are we talking about? We're talking about like, how do we lose about? the MVP? We talking because about practice? Are we, we talking about practice? I love y'all. Practice. Y'all don't understand. I made my money in the league <laughs> rushing the passer, but, oh, people respected me because of how I took on those double teams. All you got to do is turn Bucky, Slick, turn right here, hips, <laughs> knee at the ground. I take on the double team still today. Look. I'm not saying that Kyler Murray slowed down, but you also know in track and field, Bucky Brooks, especially if you don't move, somebody will catch you, especially if they start going faster. You keep talking about completion percentage. I don't want to hear that when I got passing touchdowns. What's more important, completion percentage or touchdowns thrown? Huh. Oh, but what about yards per game? Is that more important or completion percentage? Tom Brady's number one in both of those categories and most important ability availability. So, we're splitting hairs here. Kyler Murray's my dude. But you keep missing these games, big dog, and you already missed one. Tom Brady hasn't. Tom Brady gonna get you just by a nose right at the finish line.